Okay, well, here I am back from the. Master uh, uh, care specialist, and dog is making noise. I know. Forget about him. Uh, I'm back from there, and the doctor went ahead and he checked me all over and all that, you know, and he did the, the normal tests and everything else. My blood pressure was 140 over 80, which is not bad. And, um, and then they went over the blood tests I did and the scans and all that I've done. And he says, well, he says, nothing real alarming yet. He said, it looks like uh, the cancer is going even slower than we thought it would. And um, so it's going to take a while. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just have you come in for blood tests every three months and uh, come back and see me in six months. So there you are. Uh, you still got a, a wait and see routine. There's no treatment or anything else. He said, frankly, he said, it's not bad enough yet. So I said, okay, well, whatever. So anyhow, anyway, I get home and this was in the mail. I kind of forgot I bought this on eBay. And guess what this is? It's a powder horn, and uh, I'd seen these before, and I, you know, they weren't really, really well made, the ones I saw before, but this one was. It was in pretty good shape. It's got the plug and everything else in it, uh, so yeah, it's in pretty good shape. It was only like 25 bucks, and it includes shipping, so yeah. I saw before they, were, they had kits where you could make these things, and uh, they cost even more than I just paid for this thing already made. So, anyhow, so that'll go with my black powder guns, revolvers, and for the uh, single shot ones, and uh, my uh, muzzleloading rifle, too. So, that came today. So, that was good. I still didn't go over and pick up the. Um, the solenoid I need for my truck only because I knew I was going to be at the cancer doctor today so I didn't go there and then I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up tomorrow or not my brother and Ron and I uh, Ron bought tickets uh, so we could go to the uh, air show actually it's a pit pass so we can wander around and take a look at all the planes and stuff so hopefully I'll get a video of uh, some of the stuff we see there tomorrow and uh, be able to bring that back. But other than that, uh, and I haven't done any work on the other receiver, just I haven't had the time and didn't feel like it. But uh, I will get around to it eventually. And uh, so yeah, Ron made it back safe and sound to a water heater that wouldn't work. <laughs> Uh, his truck, uh, turns out the front brake pads are gone, so he needed to have those done today. Uh, he bought the parts for fixing his water heater. He finally fixed that tonight. Um, his, uh, Prius wouldn't start. The battery was dead on that. Apparently the charger had gone off. Or actually the outlet had gone off. He didn't even know why. So he put that back in the charger. He got that charged up overnight, so that's running now, so... And then he goes, and after he's done getting the brakes done, well, the mechanic says they took a, uh, took a look at it underneath, and basically his front rack and pinion and his steering and all that's all messed up, and it's got to be redone in his truck. So that's another 2500 bucks you'd have to spend there. As it was, there was another 700 today just for the brakes, because all the rotors were gone. <laughs> rotors were totally worn in front end. And the pads were already just digging into it. They were totally gone. And he never even knew it. So anyhow, that's been going on. So other than that, uh, that's what's going on here. And uh, uh, Bill, I'm going to go ahead and take this other radio apart and see if I can figure out uh, what that uh, capacitor is, uh, the electrolytic, what the three values are. Uh, I haven't got this one apart yet, this is because I just haven't had the time to do it today. 
but I'll get around to it tonight. So anyhow, that's going to be it for now. We'll see you guys later.